Green bell peppers. Arguably one of the most boring vegetables, their typical round shape and green color doesn't exactly catch the eye, especially when compared to their yellow and red counterparts. But despite fading into the background of veggies, Japanese green bell peppers really do tell the story of a nation. This is the Japanese green bell pepper, along with the nation's history, its culture, and its people. Japanese green bell peppers are called piman. Hot and sweet peppers came to Japan from Latin America via European traders. It is believed that chili peppers were first brought to Japan by the Portuguese in the mid 16th century. Peppers were brought to the island nation along with other European staples such as potatoes. Originally, chili peppers were called nanban kosho, which literally means peppercorns from southern foreign lands. This was eventually replaced by the name togahashi, with kagashi, mustard, originating from China. At first, spicy peppers were not eaten and were instead used as decorative plants. Sometimes the peppers would also be inserted into tabi, which are traditional socks or foot coverings, to keep one's toes warm. However, by the mid to late 1600s, red chili peppers began being used in everyday cuisine, such as in condiments like shichimi togarashi, a mixture of dried ground chili peppers with sesame seeds, citrus peel, and other food products. Shichimi togarashi is still a rather common condiment and finishing seasoning for many Japanese dishes like soba and udon. Sweet green bell peppers were introduced to Japan during the Meiji era, which took place between 1868 and 1912, around 200 years later than chili peppers. The Edo period, which took place directly before the Meiji era, was defined by Japan's isolationist policy and limited international trade. But the Meiji era saw increased foreign trade and influence in the country, particularly by US traders who also introduced the green bell pepper to the country. Green bell peppers were at first primarily used as decorative plants and were eventually given the name piment, which comes from the French word piment. In French, piment actually means chili pepper even though piment refers to sweet peppers. Still, some historians believe it was given a French name due to French cuisine being the most influential in the western world at the time. It was only until after World War II, which brought an influx of American products to Japan, that piment started being seen as a product to consume. Around the mid to late 1960s, they slowly began being seen as an everyday vegetable. In the 1990s, the Netherlands began exporting significantly more vegetables to Japan due to new import regulations. Paprika is Dutch for bell pepper, so red and bell peppers were referred to as paprika in Japan. Oftentimes in Japan, red and yellow bell peppers are treated as completely different vegetables to green bell peppers, hence being called paprika instead of piman. However, sometimes red peppers are also called akapiman, meaning red piman. Nonetheless, in recent times, due to new legislation, it is becoming more difficult for Japanese grocers to source the majority of their bell peppers from the Netherlands. There's more insect pressure, and several agents are banned from being imported into Japan, which is why numerous grower associations have stopped attempting to receive Japanese certification altogether. The Netherlands still exports significant numbers of bell peppers to Japan, but as South Korea and Japan are growing more and importing more from New Zealand and Canada, this has waned in recent times. Even with Japan increasing its piman production, due to Japan's notorious aging problem, labor shortages are of course significant, especially in agriculture. Still, with technological advancements and innovations such as the farm robot developed by Agrist and the farmers of Shintomi Town, production can still be maintained and maybe even increased. This robot, for example, uses AI technology to identify and then automatically harvest bell peppers. The yield of bell pepper production has remained relatively constant from 2006 
to 2021, only increasing by 1.2%. However, the acreage used to grow this product has decreased by around 10% during this time. From 2006 to 2021, the yield per 10 acres of land has increased by 12.3%, showing that thanks to improved agricultural practices, the agricultural production in the country is becoming increasingly more efficient. Nowadays, most piman are grown in the Ibaraki and Miyazaki prefectures. Interestingly, Miyazaki is located on the western island of Kyushu, whereas Ibaraki is located on the opposite side of the country, north of Tokyo on Honshu Island. Japanese green bell peppers are grown across the island nation, which produces close to 150,000 tons each year. Even the coldest prefecture of Hokkaido produces roughly 4% of the nation's piman. For decades, Ibaraki has led the nation in bell pepper farming, with Miyazaki always following close behind. Ibaraki is blessed with extensive flatlands and ideal water and climate conditions for agriculture, which has allowed the area to become somewhat of a breadbasket for the country, with most of its agricultural production being sent to nearby Tokyo. Miyazaki is not such an agricultural center, but its green peppers are said to possess a unique and distinct flavor compared to other piman. Miyazaki is not a large prefecture, possessing only around 1 million people, so the praise many chefs and home cooks give to their green peppers, describing Miyazaki green peppers as sweet, somewhat spicy, and versatile, is somewhat a source of local pride. Or so I'm told. Every prefecture in Japan is known for a particular specialty crop. Miyazaki is not known for its green peppers, however, it is instead its mangoes, which have gained international fame for being the most expensive and highly acclaimed in the world. To explain Japan's trend of producing fruit and vegetables costing hundreds or thousands of dollars, generally speaking, people tend not to care what farm they purchase apples from, they all taste pretty much the exact same. Thus, the only real distinguishing factor between them is price. But with Japan's higher labor costs, compared to other nearby nations in Southeast Asia, for example, it is difficult for Japanese farmers to compete. Thus, many Japanese farms focus on instead producing the highest quality products possible, giving a reason for consumers to purchase their products. Japanese farmers can claim to produce the world's most expensive strawberries, apples, grapes, and more, but no farm or prefecture is known for having particularly expensive or high-quality green bell peppers. It's just a staple of everyday life for all. Japanese green peppers are around one-third the size of their American counterparts, and are longer, thinner, and more square. They're also more crisp and bitter than other varieties. The Japanese green bell pepper is actually a red bell pepper that is harvested before it fully matures, which is why they're only slightly sweet and have somewhat of a bitter aftertaste. It takes twice as many days to grow yellow, red, and orange bell peppers, and they lack the unique bitterness of piman. Chishito are small Japanese green peppers. They are generally sweet and mild, but can be spicy. They are more commonly cooked into tempura or roasted, while piman are used in a larger variety of dishes. Green bell peppers are commonly used in stir-fries, as stuffing, or as a grilled side dish since they have relatively thin skin. Piman's ideal harvest season is during the months of April, May, June, and July. It is also during these times that they are the cheapest. Still, they are harvested throughout the year as they have become a household staple. It is ideal to have piman be grown in temperatures between 25 to 30 degrees Celsius. They were introduced to the nation from Latin America, and the plant naturally has a high tolerance for heat and grows best under such conditions. Bell peppers are also notable for having particularly high amounts of ascorbic acid, which can prevent colds, maintain healthy skin, lower the risk of cancer, lower cholesterol levels, and possibly reduce stress. Some parents push their children to eat these vegetables due to their health benefits, but they are commonly treated as the most hated food by children in the country. The noticeably bitter flavor is why children tend to dislike this vegetable. Children are more sensitive to certain tastes, 
and often overreact when trying new flavors such as bitterness. The bitter flavor of piman is why they are treated as the Japanese equivalent of Brussels sprouts, the universally hated vegetable among children, at least here in the US and Canada. In Inside Out, when there is a scene involving a picky eater, instead of having the girl hate broccoli, in Japan this was changed to green peppers. Still, when I looked at multiple surveys asking children in Japan what their least favorite vegetable was, green bell peppers were always high on the list, but almost never first. Usually the most hated vegetable would be bitter gourd, oya, or celery. Interestingly, when looking at surveys asking adults what their least favorite vegetables are, piman were never even in the top 10 most hated, but bitter gourds and celery were still quite high. In Japan, prikos are girls who act overly cute and innocent, usually to get attention from guys. This typically involves speaking at a higher pitch, acting ditzy, and also speaking in a childlike manner. This gets kind of complicated, so let's use an example. There are dozens of ways to say I in Japanese, which is quite confusing, so most kids just refer to themselves by their given name. Rikos would thus say their given name instead of I to appear more childlike and cuter. And if, if they really want to say something cliche, this is mostly just done in fiction, they may say something like, Hey, atashi piman yada, which means I hate piman. The sheer number of times I've heard similar phrases in this context is one of the main reasons why I made this video in the first place. There's actually a Japanese streamer called Piman Kikai, which translates to I hate Piman, and he mostly plays FPS games. The videos actually consistently get hundreds of thousands of views, sometimes even over a million. The green bell pepper has just seeped its way into public consciousness as the vegetable that children hate, and thus it's seen as cute to hate on it. One of the most apparent examples of Piman being a centerpiece of Japanese trends is the Piman Taiso insert song in Oshinoko. Oshinoko is a manga series that is mainly about acting in the film industry. Kana Akima, when she was considered a child actress prodigy, had a lead role in a children's exercise show in which this green pepper song played. This song and dance end up going viral, which allowed it to become the most influential Japanese green bell pepper related piece of modern pop culture in Japan. Like everywhere, especially on platforms such as TikTok, simple dances accompanied by catchy music is extremely popular. Exercise shows are about as popular in Japan as they are everywhere else and are of course a great way to both teach kids using educational songs while getting them to exercise. Piman Taiso is mostly a song about Piman and how it's healthy, why she loves them, and how it tastes good. It was actually a small joke in the original manga, but in the anime adaptation, they turned into a full insert song. The studio behind this was Doga Kobo, a rather large studio which has produced shows like Classic Memories, Maruchan, and Nozaki-kun. The anime is actually one of the most highly praised in recent times, which greatly increased the already popular manga's fame and praise. Still, the song was about Piman, as it's seen in Japan as the vegetable that children hate. Piman Taiso was also especially popular among people who use the MMD software, which is short for Miku Miku Dance. This is a program developed by fans to primarily animate the vocaloid Hatsune Miku, which is arguably one of the most popular singers in Japan despite not being a real person, and is instead a voice synthesizer where this particular voice is sung by Hatsune Miku. Regular people write songs using Miku's voice and oftentimes make music videos to go along with them. Piman is the name of a Vocaloid song by Mew, 
and the first line is the aforementioned Biman Kirai. Biman by Otetsu, using Luka's voice, also sings about the bitterness of this vegetable. The Vocaloid software features many different voices, with the most popular being Hatsune Miku. But at one point, Luka dominated the scene, although you do not see her as much anymore. If you want to learn more about Hatsune Miku and Vocaloid in general, I have a video about it linked in the description. Collectively known as the Big Three, pretty much every single piece of Japanese internet media is related to Vocaloid, Toho, and the Idolmaster. Fan groups who make derivative works of existing media are called doujin groups or doujin sakurus. Doujin music refers to fan-made music and Toho is especially relevant to this area. Toho is a bullet hell shoot 'em up video game series and Zoon is the sole developer behind the game and he allows people to create whatever fan content they wish with anything involved with the game so long as you obey the common sense rules like don't break the law. This includes his music, which people can freely use and music. Sanai is sometimes associated with Piman due to aesthetic and there are of course Toho music about Sanai's Piman power. It's hard not to overemphasize the impact of Toho music on the modern industry landscape and Zun is arguably one of the most influential musicians of the century. And as Toho is an absolute behemoth in modern Japanese internet culture, of course it has some sort of connection to the vegetable. Still, it's more than just Toho fans that sing about Japanese green bell peppers. Pinkuredi, Pink Lady, or a Japanese female pop duo from the late 1970s. Its two members were Mie Mitsuyo Nemoto and Kei Keiko Masuda. They first met at the drama club of the Chizuroko Suehiro Municipal Junior High School in 1971, and in 1973, they decided to audition with Yamaha Music. They were accepted and attended the Yamaha Vocal School thereafter. Yamaha is one of the largest musical instrument and audio equipment manufacturers in the world, and is very much involved in the music industry. Having a company like you is a virtual ticket to success. All you need is to gain interest from someone on the inside. Pink Lady competed in multiple nationwide auditions under the name Kuki. One such audition was 1976's Star Tanjo, and they appeared wearing white shirts, overalls, and little makeup, just similar to practically all other participants. They sung Heya Odette Kudasai, Leave the Room Please, by the relatively underground folk group Piman. Eight record companies and talent agencies tried to sign them. During the late 1970s, folk music was falling in popularity and the country was seeing a rise in western music, particularly with disco. Thus it was decided that the group would change their old look and rename to a more mature moniker, Pink Lady. The reformed duo debuted on August 25th, 1976 with Peppa Keibu which translates to Inspector Pepper. It exploded and reached number 4 on the Japanese charts, turning the duo into a household name. From becoming an official group thanks to Pimon and naming their debut single Inspector Pepper, the Japanese Green Bell Pepper could claim to be associated with this new wave of cultural movements. Pink Lady then released various other hit singles such as Wanted, UFO, and Monster. They broke records, releasing 9 consecutive number 1 songs and 10 consecutive singles which sold over a million copies each in Japan. Interestingly, the largest portion of the duo's fans were between the ages of 3 to 12, 
so the company began focusing on appealing to this age group, which upset other fans. They also declined to participate in various high-profile events, including the Red and White Song Battle, which was the first time anyone had ever refused and was a huge controversy at the time. The NHK Red and White Song Battle NHK Kohaku Uta invites the most popular Japanese music artists of the year to then split them up into two teams, with the red team being all the female artists and white being the male artists. Judges and the audience then vote on which team should win. Millions of families gather together to watch this program, which ends right before midnight on New Year's Eve. It's a huge tradition which goes back to 1951 on radio. But with ratings falling in recent years, NHK is attempting to appeal to new markets. Pink Ladies production managers also attempted to expand into the US, and the duo became one of only two Japanese artists to reach the top four on the billboards. Pink Lady was a variety show which aired on NBC in 1980, attempting to tap into their existing popularity. Ladies and gentlemen, Jeff Altman! Thank you very much. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to our fourth show. You know, it's still hard for me to believe that I'm doing a television show with two such talented ladies as me and Kay. Pink Lady saw numerous problems, including deciding upon stars, script writing disagreements, guest star booking issues, and the fact that Mia and Kay could not speak English. Network executives still insisted that the duo speak English, however, and of course, the show was a mess, being cancelled after airing just five episodes. The show involved various sketches, musical numbers, and Jeff Altman, a comedian and co-host, trying his best to minimize the awkwardness of the format. A lot of the jokes and sketches centered on the duo not knowing much about America, and were well produced, but were underscored by numerous issues behind the scenes. Hey. Uh, let me ask you this question. Have you ever seen me before? Yes. No. Uh, I mean, well, you're new to this country. You mean you've never seen this show before? Oh, yes. We've seen this show many, many times. We just never saw you before. <laughs> <laughs> uh, when is Bill Cosby coming back? Not soon, but... Uh... <laughs> the issues were not Pink Lady's fault. Having to travel back and forth between America and Japan, holding concerts, producing music, going to events, all while trying to memorize the pronunciation of the script on their plane rides to America. Nor was it Jeff Altman's fault. The show ended in failure. He was a good, energetic host and played a crucial role in the production, which is why he pushed so hard for the show to be named Pink Lady and Jeff. Some media and documents from the time refer to the show as Pink Lady and Jeff, but in the end, he did not receive the credit he truly deserved. The problem of the show lied in production. Guests were sometimes booked hours before filming, and the attempts of having the duo lip sync their songs to have them sing in English instead of Japanese were poor. Production insisted that the duo sing entirely in English and speak entirely in English despite not knowing the language. Some of the skits also did not age very well. Hey folks, no, no, folks, no. wait a second. Let's all cut the cake. No, 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 no. What? I ain't gonna cut that cake. Every episode ended with the duo dragging Jeff into a hot tub, despite opposition from the stars. But it allowed executives to put the girls in bikinis, which would bring in views. It was truly a mess. Of the six episodes produced, the last went unaired. Needless to say, the show ended in failure, and it is now often put up there with some of the worst TV shows of all time. The duo's time was spent going back and forth between America and Japan, 
and the shift was not seen favorably by many Japanese. It also tired Mie and Kei out immensely and most certainly contributed to their openness to the idea of quitting. Pink Lady ran from March 1st to April 4th, 1980 on NBC, and on September 1st, 1980, the group officially disbanded. The farewell concert was not met with much interest, and the group ended a shell of its former self just a few years after their debut. There's a certain outsider charm to the duo and their music. Their songs are nothing like the perfect studio-produced music which has become so commonplace. But the fact that they broke so many records, becoming the epitome of Japanese music scene in just a few years, and then losing it all just as quickly, one can only hope their music is rediscovered for a new generation to fall in love with their unprecedented music once again. But even though the world has largely moved on from the duo, just like popular media, the Pimon remains ever present. In One Piece, one of the most popular anime and manga in the world with over 1,000 episodes and chapters, there is a minor character called Pimon, who used to be part of the Usopp Pirates. As Japanese green peppers are rather common in the country, many cooking shows and anime also use this vegetable, such as Cowboy Bebop and the show Sweetness and Lightning. This is a cooking-focused anime with a single father and his daughter. In episode 4, the family receives a bag of fresh vegetables from an acquaintance which includes Pimon. Kohei, the father, made stuffed green bell peppers that his daughter didn't like, which is a typical reaction for children to this common dish, so he tries sneaking them into another meal, but still this doesn't work. Afterwards, along with Kotori, they make a gratin, having his daughter help prepare the peppers. She has a lot of fun and ends up enjoying eating them in the end. But this is actually not the, even the only anime episode centered entirely on Piemon, with another from Delicious Party Pretty Cure, episode 26, literally being called Kokone's Promise, the Great Bell Pepper Challenge. In the episode, Kokone and Komekome Kome are afraid of green bell peppers, mostly because they hate their bitter taste, but by the end of the episode, they overcome this fear a relatable and inspiring plot for the children who watch this show. The Japanese green bell pepper is largely associated with childhood, mainly due to the fact that children hate them, but not every appearance of Pimon involves its noticeably bitter taste or some other negative connotation. The one that immediately comes to mind for me is Inugami Kohone's Piki Piki Pimon. Kohone is a VTuber from Hololive. VTubers, in other words, virtual YouTubers, are streamers and or content creators that use virtual avatars instead of showing their real faces. They're extremely popular in Japan, with some having millions of followers, while three have even been appointed official Tokyo Tourism Ambassadors. Kohone is known for playing difficult retro games, and since oftentimes audiences get upset for her, being bad at the game and the like, she created the Piki Piki meaning irritated Pimon to put on her streams to show that the audience could vent during this time. Afterwards, it becomes a shriveled pepper to tell the audience that they have complained enough. As she played well with the Pimon, it became somewhat of a good luck charm for her and showed up in many more streams. She eventually put it in a coffee cup where it still remains to this day as a reference to Gegege no Kitaho from the 1960s. Kitaho focuses on Kitaho and his encounters with creatures from Japanese mythology. From 1968 to 2020, a total of 536 anime episodes based off of the Gegege no Kitaho series was made. But it was primarily the manga, which is oftentimes credited with popularizing yokai-related folklore in the modern era. Yokai literally translates to strange apparition. Yokai vary in shapes, sizes, and appearances, 
but they can be generally treated as supernatural spirits. Yokai can be seen as kami, which are venerated spirits in Shintoism. Buddhism and Shintoism are by far the largest faiths in the country. Many Japanese will not describe themselves as following Shintoism, but they will still follow various Shinto practices. It is Japan's native belief and has seeped its way into much of Japanese culture and way of life. This may involve praying at a shrine on New Year's for example, or believing in the existence of yokai. Roots of Shintoism trace back to 300 BC to 300 AD, and thus does not have a deep connection with the Piman, which were only introduced to Japan in the late 1800s. However, Yokai Watch is a popular children's video game series involving yokai and the watch. It is sometimes compared to Pokemon, and as children hate Piman, the series has subtly encouraged kids to eat them on multiple occasions. Still, as a household staple vegetable, along with its status as the most hated vegetable among children, the Japanese green bell pepper holds a special place in contemporary Japanese society. Its slow introduction to Japanese society somewhat coincides with the development of modern Japan, particularly its westernization. Still today, the Japanese green bell pepper is truly a vegetable like no other endlessly permeating ever more aspects of modern Japanese media and culture. Thank you.